finally over. It is time to unveil what we are building for 2014. And to make this exciting announcement, I'd like to introduce the Vice President and General Manager of Kings Island, Greg Scheid. Thanks, Don. Tonight, I would like to welcome the media, the coaster enthusiasts, and our park guests to tonight's event, introducing the 2014 attraction. I am hoping that you're as thrilled as I am for this moment. I personally have been fortunate enough to be in my current role as a VP and General Manager of Kings Island for seven years now. And I want to take a step back and review the capital improvements that we have made during this period leading up to tonight's announcement. In 2007, Cedar Fair's full year of operation in the park, we relocated a Vacoma Flyer known as X-Flight from our Geauga Lake property and rethemed it as our own. Firehawk opened on Memorial Day weekend 2007 at a total cost of $7 million. After having a little capital in 2008, we then invested $22 million in what at that time was the single largest investment in the park's history. The 2009 season brought us Diamond back, which gave the park something that was missing, a steel coaster that appealed to the masses while being highly dependable and offer extremely high rider capacity. The capital allocation also allowed us to clean up the Rivertown area and create a new fresh fill while maintaining the charm of this historical area. In 2010, we spent nearly $5 million updating our Planet Snoopy area, winner of 12 straight golden tickets for best kids area in the world. Well, we got a lot of fans out here tonight. 2011, with a $7 million budget, we brought you Windseeker and Dinosaurs, while again addressing some of the eyesores that could be found at Coney Mall, especially the broken asphalt that was replaced with a bunch of brick pavers at that point. We're getting close to 2014, aren't we? In 2012, we took a $10 million budget and turned our focus to the water park with the introduction of Soak City, the Midwest's largest water park. As with previous updates throughout the park, attention was paid to ensuring we were adding guest amenities that would create a positive memory for visitors to both Kings Island and Soak City. Okay, now let's forward to today in the introduction of our 2014 project will once again set a record it's the single largest capital investment in this park's 41 years. So my question is, how do we spend $24 million? Well, before I let the cat out of the bag, or should I say the bat out of the cage, I want to say a special thanks to all those who follow us on social media sites and write enthusiast blog sites that have spent countless hours guessing the name, the manufacturer, and the type of ride that we will introduce here tonight. Kudos goes out to our awesome marketing department who really enjoyed putting these teasers out there for your enjoyment. And hopefully too, you've had some fun playing along. I do, I do ask one favor of everyone, if you could, please send all the silver cones back to the park, Don and I are missing our cones and we're in need, okay? So with that, we have quite a few videos queued up for your enjoyment tonight. So who's ready to see what's on tap for 
excited as the Kings Island team to see Banshee being built and running come the spring of 2014. When we look at the previous ride that was located in this area, it was imperative that we select a ride with a high thrill factor, but more, more importantly, one that would be dependable. Ban Banshee was built by our Switzerland-based company, b &M, which of course manufactured a diamond back in 2009. b and is recognized throughout our industry as a leader in the ride design and quality steel coasters. As with Diamondback, the trail, the track and columns are manufactured just 20 miles away in Batavia, Ohio. Yeah. And, the, and the erection will be held by another Ohio company, Adina, located out of Mansfield. You ready? The erection of this ride is going to start this month. We'll start putting this up in the air immediately. With that being said, who's interested in seeing a front seat POV of this ride? Let's do it. One more time, what did you think? I really do enjoy talking to the guests who tell me when they come to Kings Island, their trip is not complete until they've ridden the Beast and Diamond back at night. There's something special about riding in the darkness of the night, but now there are three must rides at night. Let's all sit back and take a quick ride at night on Banshee.
think everyone's gonna have a new favorite ride at night. Who wishes it was April of 2014 already? This will be the park's second B&M coaster, and if you've ridden Diamondback, you know how comfortable the ride experience is. And uh, right now we'll take a look at the... to visit kingsisland.com slash banshee and you'll be able to see all the videos you saw here tonight plus a lot more we have ride renderings everything else again the website visit kingsisland.com slash banshee right now some of our marketing staff has some items they're going to be tossing out into the crowd and also you have a chance tonight to be among the first to have banshee merchandise it's going to be available on a lot of location right behind us here off to my right so you can take home banshee merchandise tonight we want to thank everyone for making king's island part of your entertainment and vacation plans today we hope you're as excited as we are for banshee and the 2014 season to get here and as a reminder the fireworks We'll begin in just a few minutes here. If you're a member of the news media, Greg Shy and I will be over here by the Celtic Tombstones, and it will be available for one-on-one -on -one interviews or group interviews. We'll also have the uh, press kits if you did not get one. So again, come on over. Greg and I will be available. And again, thank you for coming out, and make sure you get your mansion merchant. Yeah, it's on location for the Banshee merchandise. On location. All right, thank you.